Hello there, I am Giant Quote from my Pokemon Ruby video. In the last part, we took on May for the first time on Route 103, and I think we're still on Route 104, right? Uh, we we actually um, caught a lot of Zigzagoons, as you see right here, because they have the pickup ability, the pickup items, basically. So it's awesome. Um, and uh, we also got the Pokedex from Professor Birch after beating uh, May and returning home to Little Root Town. Uh, our mom gave us the running shoes as we left Little Root Town, and uh, yeah, then we bought, then we like caught all these zigzagoons. One Larry is the one I'm gonna be using as an HM slave, but one, two, three, and four are just zigzagoons that have the pickup ability that will pick up items for us. So yeah, we still I think we're on one hundred four right now. Um, well, we don't even have, we don't really have a town map yet because it's not till later. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I'm uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're on one hundred four. Someone just says pedal. Oh, I'm about what, 102, okay. Okay, it's fine. Oh well, okay, so I have Larry up front. Let's battle this, uh, this, uh, trainer. I forget what trainer type this is. Kind of tr type of trainer this is. Anyway, I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Why don't you help me further my career? That's what people say when, like, they, uh, battle this person. Oh, it's last, okay. So last turn. She has a zigzagoon that's level four. I have a zigzagoon that's level five. Let's let's dance. No, Larry, you missed. Why, Larry? Larry, you might not be able to finish off this zigzagoon then. Oh, especially if your attack is lower by one stage. That might that might not seem as a lot, but apparently early in the game you have like low stats, so it really actually affects it. You know? Come on, Larry. Why'd you have to miss the first time? Jeez, are we the first tackle of this battle. Are you gonna lower Larry's attack again, or some more? Nope, you, you're mistaken, Larry. I think I think we're gonna have to give this. I think we have to. I think we have to go to Geico if you don't shape up. Oh look, that is because it missed. Nice. Tackle is 95. It's 95 percent accuracy or 95 accuracy, so that means it only hits like 95 percent of the time when it's not affected by like sand attack or something. But yeah, there's Larry. Good level six, awesome. I'll stay in. Is this using an Oslo level five? It's level four. Okay, uh, Oslo level four. Good. Nice. Okay, fine, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if Larry can still defeat this Zigzagoon. But if uh, Larry struggles, struggles like he is about to, then I'll switch to Geico. Maybe I can get, maybe Larry can get a quick or something. You know, where Larry's attack gets that again? That's like four times, I think. Three or four times. Three or four stages. Oh my gosh. Larry, just pull through. Get a quick quit or something. You can do it. Come on, Larry, I believe in you. One more tackle should do it. Okay. Oh my gosh, where is attack is like not even that is very low I should say right now because all those freaking growls. Jeez, okay. Way to go, Larry. I ended up furthering your career. Thanks. That's what I wanted. Thanks for six four pocket dollars. I think right down here is a potion or a pokeball. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's a potion. It's a potion, awesome, nice. I was right. I was right. Go, we didn't want it, oh, what Pokemon, any one Pokemon there, so that's awesome. Ooh, wait, I got another item. A revive, awesome, nice. I can't wait till they start pick, picking up, like, rare candies, that'd be awesome. Cause, like, I've had a playthrough of where my Zigzagoon slash Wynoon picked up, um, some, uh, a lot of rare candies all the time and stuff, it was awesome. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center right here and heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, there's really not much I want to show off in Petalburg, at least right now. So I'm going to head off to the gym, because that's where my dad should be, right? <laughs> He's the gym waiter. Okay, yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, if it isn't Steven, so you all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, oh I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you'll going to become a trainer like me, Steven. That's great news. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I think so, he said. Um, um I, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Ver Verdant Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Steven, you heard that, right? Go with Wally. Make sure that he catches safely catches a Pokemon. Here, I'll own you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon. Hmm. I'll give you a Pokemon too. Go for it. Oh, is it the Pokeball? Oh, wow, thank you. Stephen, would you really come with me? Sure, why not? Do, 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 I like this music. 
We walk into this grass right here. Yeah, Stephen, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I get, if I can catch one properly. Whoa. Yeah, um, I don't think you can actually find a Ralts that's level five in this area. We can find a Ralts, but it's kind of rare. I think it's, I think it's like uncommon or rare as it's uh, a appearance category, I guess you could say. But yeah, you're lucky. You found a, you found a Ralts on the first try. It's level five. Jeez. Okay, so you just tackle. You told it to use Zigzoon to use tackle twice now. It's gonna lower uh, Zigzoon's attack again. And this is where he comes. Yeah, yeah. he actually gets to be on screen. You see him throw on the Pokeball. That's pretty cool. That's good for you, I guess. He has to do this very slowly, but uh, he does it. He throws the Pokeball at the vaults. Let's see if he catches it. One, two, three. Oh, look, he caught it. Yay. Nice. Cool. I, I did it. It's my, my Pokemon. Steven, thank you. Let's get back to the gym. Cool. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Steven, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom is waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Steven. Oh, how nice is he? Nice. Now, Steven, if you want to pick up my trainer, strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for the Rushboro City, uh, head for Rushboro City beyond this point, beyond this town. There should be, there you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After all, go on, after her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges for them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Steven. But that's only after you become stronger, Steven. Hmm, why don't you go into the po po Pokemon gym in Rushboro City? There's no challenge for me. There's no challenge for me to battle a Greenhorn trainer. Steven, I want you to challenge me when you become a lot stronger. I'll battle you, Steven, when you can show me four gym badges, okay? Okay, fine. Let's do that, yeah. So did my, I don't think my Pokemon got hurt or anything. Nope, okay, cool. So yeah, let's uh, go on to the next route. This is route 104, jeez. I got the two routes mixed up between 102 and 104. Oh, she's not a trainer. Oh, I'm not a trainer. <laughs> but that's right. If you Pokemon, Pokemon trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of, the, of their sight. I want to battle, so I'm going to get in their sight. Fine, I'll just wait here. Here. I'll meet, I'll meet him halfway. There we go, nice. Weaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Cool. That's good for you, man. That's good for you. You're a youngster. Billy. Youngster Billy, yeah. Here's a C dot. Nice. Let's go for the tackle. Let's get his bind, isn't it? Yeah, let's get his bind. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna use tail up on this thing then. Or oh, it's defense. Let's just tail up again. Yeah, nice. You gotta lower that defense down. <laughs> and now you don't unleash any energy because I didn't fuck you. When you use bind, I didn't hurt you at all. So, ha, that was my strategy. See, that's level 6, by the way. Can you. Okay, it's gonna raise the defense. Okay, fine. I'll just tackle some more. Oh, no. Now it's gonna do normal. Okay, so you, you basically broke even with your stats, with your defense stat there, basically. There we go, now the C dot still goes down, nice. Yeah, it's staying for the tail, I guess. Focus energy, you're trying to raise the chance of being a critical hit, that's not good for me, at least. So where would you just use tackle? Jeez, that was a tech, yeah, now that goes the critical hit. Okay, I'm gonna switch to, uh, well, uh, you see, uh, Trico is weak against is that pack attack that Tail has would be super effective. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Well, I can just switch over to one, one two, or three, or four, basically. Could quite nice. Okay, so before it uses pack again, I'm gonna switch over to one. Yeah, I knew I was gonna peck eventually. Nope, okay, fine. One fainted.
Oh, let's see about two. <laughs> let's use Grell. There we go, nice. Two good level four, nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, whoa, I got a sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Sorry, man, thanks for 128 Pokedollars dollars though. So, do you want to pick any items up? No, but of course not. Cool. Uh, let's see, is there one more trainer here? I think there is, but I don't know if he battles you. Yeah, what's at the bottom of the sea? I don't know. Here's Mr. Briny's cottage, but uh, you see his boat out there, but he's not here in his cottage. So let's get to that, we'll have to get to that later, I guess. Or we'll get to that later, I should say. And uh... Let's see right here, um... Here's a rich boy up here soon. Oh, let's buy the rich boy before we pick up the berries. Oh, sure, I'll accept a challenge. I have a lot of money. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, attack. Okay, fine. I'll switch out. No, I didn't mean to go to my bag. Guy kill. Yeah, let's go to Guy kill. The six guns level seven. It's gonna use the tail up to lower Guy kill's defense step by one. That's cool. Not really. Oh man, he gets growl on us or on Guy kill. How could you? Jeez. It's gonna lower Guy kill's defense step by one more stage, I should say. I use the forest store, of course. Forest stores cost 3,000 poker dollars, man. You start the game with 3,000 poker dollars. You must really be rich. Jeez. I want to see how much an absorb does, honestly. It's a little bit more, I guess, but I don't know. I'll probably use one more. Hopefully, one more absorb should faint it. That's what I'm hoping. Nope, of course not. Better take this thing out before it takes out Trico. Uh, Geico. I almost said Trico, but your nickname is Geico. Almost level 10. Okay, cool. Why couldn't I win? I forgot to read your name. I think it was like Rich Boy Ashton or something. Except for 1400 Poké Dollars. Now let's pick these berries. Two one berries, nice. Okay, cool. Let's go around. Let's avoid the tall grass. Because I don't want to really run into any wild counters. I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Let's go into the Petalburg Woods. Nice, okay. So, uh, no one picked up any items? Okay, fine. See, I'm not gonna talk to you. Here's a hidden item right here. I can tell because it's a suspicious spot. Where you think that'd be an item. Yeah, we found a potion. Nice. Cool. And if you go over here, I think you can grab a Pokeball. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk to you, I guess. You're a thief. If you try to steal someone else's Pokemon, you should always throw Pokeballs only. You should only throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon. That's very true. Here's a Pokeball, by the way. <laughs> nice. Wait, do I need? I need to buy some more Pokeballs, don't I? Because I, I, I didn't have a single one before I picked up that one. I'm gonna go back to the mart and uh, go, uh, go pick up some Pokeballs real quick. Jeez, I can't believe I forgot about that. Okay, back in the public woods, we're at the. F front entrance I guess from that entrance that we usually originally came in by or through um this guy has all like six wimples so I think I'm just gonna switch to Geico because I don't really want to switch out or anything so let's talk to him there he'll spot us actually <laughs> I could hold a bunch of Pokemon go 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 my bug Pokemon team he has six wimples I think in Emerald though he has three wimples but six wimples is very 
you know, if you if you're not looking for like experience, I think you want to you might just want to skip this guy because this guy just has six wimples. It's very time consuming to battle him and stuff. I'm just doing it just to get the experience. So that's just me, I guess. That's what, that's what my plan is. Okay, yeah, let's go for the pound again. Let's go for another another pound, I should say. So yeah, it goes in the level of ten. Awesome. Oh man, so many more bowls. Ay ay ay. But that one uh, level three, so that's not too bad. Oh, critical hit, nice. I'll take it. Yes. Yeah. This is fun. Let's see how she just does two HP. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> wimple after wimple after wimple. <laughs> Here we go, nice. We're almost done, everyone. We're almost done. Your string shot to lower Geico's speed stat by one stage. That's great. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Wimple. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Hopefully, Geico levels up to level 11 by the end of this battle. That'd be nice. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, these, his Wimples love. He loves to tell his Wimples to use string shot. So, that's cool. But Geico still outspeeds them, so, so you know. I think, yeah, Geico learned quick attack. Awesome, nice. I I have all of these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. Sorry, man. Thanks for four Poké Dollars. I think up here is a Paralysis Heal. Oh my gosh. Okay, right there is a level five Slack Off. They're actually kind of rare here. Right there is level 5 Silcoon, that's pretty cool. Here's a Pearl Seal that I said before, nice. Go skid out the tall grass because I, I don't want any more wild encounters. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, let's go up here. Oh look, there's a guy in a green suit. <laughs> hmm, not a one to be found. Have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish? Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but you had the Dwaddle and Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Aye, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Hmm, what do you think you're doing? You're going to protect him? No one crosses Team Magma. No one who crosses Team Magma gets any mercy, not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Okay. Here's the introduction to Team Magma. If you're playing Sapphire version, it'll be an introduction to Team Aqua. And if you're playing Emerald version, it, there'll be a Team Aqua grunt and, uh, th th to battle you. And I think in Emerald, in Emerald there's, Puck, there's both Team Magma and Team Aqua um, that you face. But in uh, Ruby, you only face Team Magma, but you see Team Aqua a little bit. And then if you're playing Sapphire version, then you're playing, you're, you're battling Team Aqua, but you see Team Magma also in the game. So yeah, there's that. Let's get this quick attack on this and it's level 9. It should be too hard to take down, but you never know. Just gotta spam quick attack, honestly. Ooh, critical at G's. Let's get how to raise up its attack, nice. That's good for you, I guess. Nice. Almost level 12. But if you team magma grunt, I guess, the team magma grunt. You're kidding me, you're tough. Thanks for the 100 day pocket always. I am very tough, thank you. Grr, you have some nerve meddling with team magma. Come and battle me again. I wish you could say that about a amount of Pokemon. And hey, we of team magma also have to do something in Rush Barrels. I'll let you go today. Okay. Phew, that was awfully close. Thanks to you. He didn't rob me of my, these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. We get a great ball, nice. Didn't that Team Magma thug say they're after something in a rush board too? Oh no, it's a crisis. I can't be wasting time. So yeah, he has to go after him basically and put on a make it. I wanted to organize my Pokeballs just in case they were disorganized, but it's all. Uh, Pokeball Great Ball is good to organize it, I guess. 
So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just fainted a Shroomish, and uh, yeah, Gaku level 12, awesome. So yeah. So I'm gonna actually end the part off right here. So this has been the my Pokemon Ruby Redo like their part. The next part will take on the rest of the Petalburg Woods and hopefully make it to Rushboro City. That'd be pretty cool. So yeah, so this is my Jacko again. I would like to leave a goodbye and hope to see you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.